Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 17th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. For right around the 17th, what do we have, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we have for around the 17th? Around, you know, the timing is fluid. This could happen a week later. Okay, month later. And then again, you know, this reading may not even be for you. So let's just see what we got here. Eight of Pentacles. That's putting in effort, working hard. Uh, trying really hard. Trying to get it right. Somebody's putting in effort, working really, really, really hard. Um, thinking, thinking. Wanting to get it just right by the looks of things. See so if we can get that thing to focus. Here we go again. I just reset the settings. That was stupid. Anyhow, um, temperance, patience, going with the flow, changing. Somebody's changing, putting in some sort of effort to change, to accept and allow. Maybe they're, they're trying really hard to be patient or needing somebody to be patient. Hmm, this temperance is moderation, compromise, managing, managing the feelings, working hard to keep it under control and to remain balanced. So somebody is working really hard to stay in control by the looks of things. Ooh, four of wands reversed. There could be some problems or some disharmony on the home front or in a connection. There's some sort of disharmony. Somebody may want change because temperance is about change after an ending. But the four of wands is a disconnection, uh, discontent, not happy. This party is over. It's cleanup time. This is a messy situation. Somebody may be, you know... It was real good in the beginning. It was fun. It was great. But the party is over. I'm ready for a change. It's time to accept that this party is over. It's time to accept that there's no happiness here. It's time to accept that the honeymoon is over. Whatever. This is putting in a lot of effort. Really thinking about something. Uh, hmm. Page of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, there's no growth here. I don't want to keep going in this direction. So somebody is thinking about what they're, what, where they want to go, what they want to do. They're thinking about their life, and especially while they're at work. They're especially on their mind when they're at work. When they're at work, they're like, oh, I really want this change. They may not want to go home. It's like, oh, you don't even really want to go home. The page of pentacles reversed. This is dropping out, lack of commitment. Um doesn't want this responsibility anymore. Now, this could be even work-related. It's time for a change. It could be relationship-related or work-related. There's no growth here. There's nothing solid. It doesn't lead to anywhere. There's, you know, somebody is, is maybe at a job where it's not going anywhere. Okay? It's not. It's not going anywhere financially. But somebody is working really hard. Hoping it will change, but it doesn't look like it. There's nothing to celebrate, whatever. Anyhow, on um, the page of pentacles reversed, there's, it's like there's no new doorways opening. There's no potential for growth. It's no, it's not even exciting anymore. It's no fun. This is definitely no fun, whether it's job or a relationship. Now, the temperance is about change, accepting change, allowing change, um... Finding the self-discipline to change. This is, this is, uh, now, this is somebody who may, somebody may be quitting. Quitting a job, just saying, or quitting something, or being let go, but it feels like it's quitting. It's giving up. This person's not putting in a lot of effort, but they are right here. This is at work, so at work, but this person, uh, has been trying really hard, but it's not going anywhere. It's over. 
Now, if this is at work, then you know, this is an ending. If it could be a relationship as well, this is the end. This is the death. And this is the, this comes after death. So this is allowing, accepting change after a painful separation or a painful ending. Now, there could be a betrayal here even, okay? Um, this, is, this could be some sort of betrayal. Something is ending. I want a change. I don't, I don't want to put in effort. Somebody is thinking about going down a new path. Perhaps it's just... They don't want to be in this commitment. This is a commitment I don't want to be in anymore. This is I don't want to be in this commitment anymore. It's no fun. This, this party is over. It's not even... I'm ready for a change. This is seriously ready for a change. A change is coming. It is coming. Because something is ending. This is an ending. Okay? This is giving up for sure. Both Somebody is giving up on... A something that they tried, they tried and they tried and they tried and they tried and they tried to make it work. It's just not happy. It's not, there's, there's just some sort of disharmony. And this is the search for harmony. So somebody is, you know, giving up on something. Um, maybe they are going to be relocating. Uh, they've been thinking about it. I know that they have. I can see that they have been thinking, thinking, thinking about where they want to go. Because there's no growth left here. It's a dead end. It is a dead end. So they're thinking about where do I go now? What should I do now? And I think they've been thinking about it for, you know, maybe since December, maybe November. You know, it's been a while. I think it's been a while. Um, Knight of Cups. This isn't love. This is this is a false relationship. It's it's not. It may have it may have been fun in the beginning. It may have seemed like it was love, but it's not. Okay, it's not the Knight of Cups reverse. So somebody that it, it, whoever this reading is for is contemplating making a change because this isn't the partnership or the relationship that. They thought it was, put it that way. Oh, God. Three of Swords reversed. Now this is healing. Leaving the past hurts behind. Focusing on the future. It's time to leave this painful situation behind instead of suffering in a relationship. A relationship. This is whatever this relationship is, whether it's a work relationship or it's a love relationship. It's some sort of commitment that isn't working out. I'm sorry, it's, it's what it is. It's painful to stay here. It's like you're, there's there's a lack of. Uh, there's probably no romance. There's whoever they're dealing with isn't very romantic, isn't very loving, isn't any fun. This is this person's no fun. I'm sorry, but anyhow, um, oh, King of Cups reversed. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but this person is withdrawing, closing down, not feeling loved, not able to express themselves having a hard time um in a relationship okay They're, this is like unable to master emotions closed off not happy we have somebody here that is not having their emotional needs met could be a water sign they may, you know, the honeymoon is over. The honeymoon period is over. It's like, this is no fun. I don't want this. There could be a separation with the four of wands, with the four of wands reverse and the three of swords reverse. Somebody may be moving. Maybe they're ready for a change. They're ready for something more emotionally fulfilling by the looks of things. This is giving up, giving up on some sort of commitment where they tried and they tried and they tried and they tried. They invested you know, they, they nurtured it, but no matter, if, it, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. If it's not love, it's not love. You know, it may have been fun in the beginning, but it doesn't look like it's, it's going anywhere. It's dead end. It is a dead end. Time to relocate. Time to go someplace else. Um, this is an ending, and it's, it, it feels like it's a painful ending with the Ten of Swords. This is goodbye, Okay. This is the death of a situation. Somebody has changed. They're not the same person they were when they got together with this person. They're just not. 
and now they see that that was some sort of false feeling of love it may have been you know a honeymoon you know how you how you've heard about the honeymoon period you know the honeymoon period was good but moving forward moving on mastering emotions getting the drive you see, somebody's moving they're planning a move or they're moving they're moving they're they're really taking the lead they're taking the reins taking charge we definitely you know a lot of you are, are dealing with the emotions somebody's emotions um emotions um are not you know the love they're not feeling loved they're not feeling cared for they're not feeling taken care of and I feel like they've been in this situation for a while now and they just want to move forward and they're going to. They're going to. Somebody's going to be moving with that chariot card. They're going to find the mental strength because they have transformed. So they're headed towards victory once they take the reins and they face the opposition of... Uh, anyway, maybe they have to split up. I mean, with the four of wands reversed... This is somebody that the King of Cups in reversed is somebody that is emotionally unhappy. This person is, you know, sad by the looks of things. It feels like this is sad. It does. It feels like it's sad. But this is finding the strength to move on. Even though it hurts, got to leave this situation that is not fulfilling behind. Somebody is leaving an unfulfilling situation behind. They're making a move. They've been thinking about it and it's time for a change. They're giving up on a, it feels like it's a false relationship. You know, it was built on false love or fake love or something like that. this is the star reversed is why 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 there's an element of depression this is this is a person that is depleted they're depleted and they're feeling like their wishes aren't being fulfilled and that's why they're moving. Somebody is moving. They're moving in a different direction. They're moving away from somebody that it feels like they've made them depressed. It's caused a lot of depression to stay in this relationship where it's like it's almost like it's one-sided. There's no tender love and care. Oh my god, not happy. We definitely have somebody here who isn't happy at all in their current commitment. They're not, and they're moving. They are. They've wanted to be free. They're sad. They may have been lacking clarity. I feel like we have a broken marriage or a broken commitment here where somebody is really, really sad over the fact that whoever they're with is not, you know, it's not the one. And now they got to find the strength the mental strength to move on and I think they are so I think I think that they somebody is going to find their mental strength and their discipline to take the reins and head out yes they are because they got a new opportunity a new exciting opportunity this could be a new sexual partner or a sudden attraction or a sudden desire or something very exciting in front of them something that excites them somebody is moving towards something more exciting okay they are. They are moving towards something more exciting. All right? And I think it happens, you know, it's like they just, they, they, they can't stop themselves. Maybe they've met their match or they see something that really sparks an interest. They may have a new flame or a new spark or a new desire. They got their eye on somebody else. You know? <clears throat> I feel like we have somebody here that is moving down a new path. They, they, they're ready for a fresh start and they're going to go for it.
So this is forward movement towards something exciting. This is exciting. This is a sudden, I feel like it's a sudden change. This is a card of transformation. Somebody that is very strong and determined determined to live because this is a life this is very a very lively energy this is um attention it just reminds me of standing to attention they may have something very attractive in front of them that they can't um they don't want to be held back by this situation that they're in so I think we have an individual here that isn't happy at all in their current commitment. Okay, here's the individual that is, is not feeling loved. They're feeling emotionally withdrawn. They're having a hard time communicating. Um, having a hard time with their emotions. Their emotional needs are not being met. They're, they've been thinking about this change for a while, but probably not wanting to hurt the other person that they were engaged with. But I feel like this engagement is ending because there's really no more attraction here. And this person has a new uh, vision, perhaps, where, you know, I, that's the one that I want um, and I have to go for it. And so the other person, you know, that they're dealing with could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius um, is may say why 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 me maybe there's a child involved I don't know why is this happening why are you doing this well you can't stay just for a child if there's no love okay because it's all about love and whoever this person is that is in a sad situation isn't getting any love okay and that's why they're moving or they're they're planning a move they're making a move they're finding their mental strength to move forward into something exciting okay this is a this is like a new partner this could be a new sexual partner new exciting opportunity okay something that can grow that's something that can really grow all right um leaving the past hurts behind this is something new new and exciting coming in fast Oh, new beginning. Endings lead to after something ends. Somebody is leaving something to start a new life. I can't make this shit up. You know that I can't. Okay. This is a new beginning. These are both cards of transformation. This is a huge change. Profound change. Somebody is finding their ability to act with integrity and do the right thing even though it hurts. Whoever they're dealing with is going to basically, I feel like they're going to hear goodbye. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. This is a new life. It is. It really is. So this is a new beginning after something ends. Somebody is making a choice to end something that is emotionally unfulfilling. And, you know, there's no more... There's nothing left to celebrate. There's nothing, there's no, you know, party is over. The honeymoon is over. It's no fun anymore. So, we have a separation and a loss, which leads to a new beginning. This is a card of evolution. Somebody has changed. They've evolved into somebody else. Now they're going to manage their feelings. And head towards something more fruitful. They're going to plant their seeds someplace else. Somebody is going to plant their seeds someplace else. So I think that, oh my God, this is a major disruption. I just looked down. This is a major disruption, major life change. Major. This is a shock. And whoever, it's like you, the, per, the person that is going to be receiving the message that somebody is saying goodbye, never saw it coming. 
But this is a major life change. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security. False. But I think they're about to jump ship because they got a new exciting opportunity right in front of them. So, um, we have a new beginning here for somebody. Okay, this is a new beginning after a separation, after an ending. Expect the unexpected, okay? Life is about to change. Just like that. Plus, somebody has a new sexual partner coming in. And it could lead to something very fruitful. It could. It could lead to a new life. A new beginning. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is about a neglect, abandonment. Struggling. Somebody is struggling. Maybe that's why they've stayed. Somebody was led in the wrong direction by somebody that was unstable. Looks like we got somebody here that is turning their back. This person is turning their back on the person that led them in the wrong direction. They're going someplace else. Somebody is making a big, bold move. And it's because they, they, they see something much more attractive. And they're saying goodbye to the one that... I mean, it's, it's like saying goodbye to the one, if you take a look at the, to the one that all this person does is mope, cry, doesn't do anything, doesn't uh, put in any effort. Poor, poor, pitiful me. Saying goodbye to that person. You know what? can't do this anymore. It's that kind of energy. You want to sit there and cry and mope for the rest of your life? I got a life, a whole life ahead of me. Anyway, I feel like we have a big, bold move that is about to happen. Somebody is headed toward, and it's going to lead. This move is going to lead to a successful new life. But before death, I mean, before that new life, there's a death, and there is definitely a death. There's an ending. That leads to a profound life change, a transformation. It's going to be a shock. Somebody's probably going to say, why, 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 why are you doing this? And they may use a kid, you know, to say, you can't do this because of the child, blah, 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 blah. You know, this is victim mentality here. But I do see a profound life change. Okay, I do. Somebody's going to be relocating. Could happen very, very, very suddenly. Good luck.